Welcome back to the Tide Room. Hey, this is Mike, and I'm coming at you with the new Irons Trans M03, and this is the smoke screen. They call it Smog, and I, I like it. It's pretty cool. It's a, a cool looking figure. You could get this. It shows you. I got mine. It shows you. They're like 26 bucks, and for a Legends, and for the size, and for the paint, and for the the quality feel of the plastic, I think it's worth it. But let's get right into this. Here we go with the box and the packaging and it's it looks kind of simple but it's decent artwork. I like it. It shows that there's three of this exact same mold. This is the 03, the 01 is Prowl. Let's look at that. 01 is Prowl, 02 is Streak and Silver Streak, Blue Streak, whatever. And then we have Smoke Screen, which is got a lot of paint and a lot of color to it. Yep. Warnings and hazards, and you can see both modes on the side. That's a nice uh, cartoon render. It's not an actual from the cartoon. So let's go ahead and look at this guy in his car mode. Now I think the car mode looks good. There is one big negative to it though. The big negative, not that the legs look like car seats, which actually works out really well. It looks like car seats. Those are both of the legs, or part of the legs, is this piece here. Now, it's an eyesore on this version because it's blue. They should have, since they did paint this white right here, they should have painted that white also. And, or not, I'm sorry, not white, but they should have painted the white stripe across here, and then the red for the hood, and it would have looked better in alt mode. Now, I don't generally store mine in alt mode very often, or very frequently, so it's not gonna be a huge deal but on this particular figure of the three, it's a huge eyesore. What do you think? But aside from that, they have lots of paint, a lot of paint and colored plastic in it. And the blues look about the same. It looks good. I like it. Uh, this piece here is black plastic. That's part of the arm and that's molded into the arm, which is really interesting for the transformation. Uh, we have some silver on the wheels. Wheels are not, Oh, they're not rubber. Do any of them have rubber? This one got the yellow paint, black paint, red paint. It's, it's, they did a really good job with this. Painted the 38. Bottom, well, it looks pretty clean. I wonder if I can store the weapons on the bottom. Nope, no bottom storage weapons. But yeah, this guy looks good. Let's go ahead and get his weapons accessories out. Here is his gun. It's just silver. Looks, it looks pretty good, actually. I like the look of this gun. I like the shininess of it. It gets the job done. Now, these pieces here come in the bag, and I'm gonna show you what we can do with those. You can put them in alt mode, and, well, they're in the same place, pretty much. You'd have them in the car mode. Now, they are one-sided, so one side looks right, the other one looks hollow. So you need to put them on the correct side right there and the other one is gonna go right here and the gun is gonna go right here now that is not how i choose to display mine it's not the coolest looking it's a, a place to store them i'm not going to do that but hey it's an option so i figured i'd show it for comparison i was going to start by showing you some of the masterpiece, so this is Hot Rod next to him. We're gonna go ahead and get him next to a masterpiece wheelie, and that's one of the earlier designs of wheelie. That's not the X Transbots version, or to think the X Transbots version, similar in size, a little bit smaller. And let's go ahead and get them compared to another. This is the McFans Toys Hound. Now, I still feel like McFans Toys Hound is too big. I still feel like he's too big for this guy in in this mode. So I think it's a great looking hound. All right, let's get that windshield up. But too big. Here he is next to the official Hasbro and Magic Squares Cosmos. And that's about how he looks with these guys. And I guess that'll work. There we go. 
and comparing him to this uh, Legions, Legions versus a Bumblebee, and he's about the same size as Flipper, so kind of interesting comparison there. Let's go ahead and get this guy transformed. First thing you want to do is you want to open the doors. Now the doors actually hold together, but they also open as if you're opening doors. It has opening doors and they're on a ball socket. So you could open the door like, hey, we're gonna get, let's spike get in or something, whatever. But that's the first thing you do and it disconnects it from the leg right there. You wanna pull the legs down and we're gonna transform the legs, split them apart and they're tab, they tab in right here like usual. You see the tab is right there. So you want to untab that and then you can work it around. So when you untab it, that ankle rocker gives you freedom to do whatever. And, uh, and yeah, when I get to doing the prowl, we're gonna go from bot to car mode. So with this, this is an interesting, strange situation. Let's go ahead and get these doors out of the way. So they are on ball joints, so they can just get way out of the way while you work on this. But this here and how it works, the way you twist the arms around, it's possible to transform this thing and have the shoulders misaligned like so, and it won't look right. So you want, that's, that's a little tip there. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and put these wheels on the inside and get the shoulders aligned like so. We can go ahead and move this around, flip the waist around, and now we want to bring down, see the wheels are gonna fall right in place with that. We wanna bring this chest down, and then we're gonna turn the head around, which I don't know if it was necessary the way I did it, and then fold this back, fold this back, flap down, get the doors in alignment, and line everything up. This figure is super simple to transform. I did kind of forget to show you to pull out the heel spurs to make him more stable. So now he can stand in a lot more stable stance. So I was like, I know he's more stable than that. Yeah, heel spurs. And the last step is that this hood and everything is on a slider. So slide that up and you are pretty much done. Now let's go ahead and get these accessories in here and plug them in and remember that the shoulder cannons go on particular sides when you do that. You do not want to, well, I mean, maybe you don't care, but uh, it would look kind of silly having the hollow side out. Uh, it's not a mainline figure, more or less a premium legends figure. And then let's give him his gun, which will look better in this bot mode than it did in alt mode. And we're gonna take a good look at this guy. So he has all the same paint. The only thing you're really gonna notice much different paint-wise is the head in this mode. Let's get a look at that head. And it's a nice head sculpt. I mean, it really does kind of feel like what they're doing right now with the Masterpiece Plus head sculpt. It does look a little different. It's not quite as good, I would say, but it's still a great head sculpt. And looking down here, he's got all the same paint apps everywhere. Uh, all the way down the thighs are not painted, which is a good thing so they don't get all chipped up. And, you know, and I'm not even 100% sure what color each of these plastics are. Like, that's colored plastic right here. That's black paint. This is red paint, so you can see a slight difference between the reds because paint and plastic. But it's really, really close, so that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and look at articulation. So the head does move side to side, up, up, that does it. Uh, looking at his shoulder articulation, now you could alter it a bit, but straight out, this wheel well does kind of get in the way. You have about 90 on the elbows, hands are, they don't move at all. Looking at the waist, of course, it's part of the transformation, so it's there, but it probably would have been there anyway. Legs on the thighs go out to just the 90, back as far as you can until it hits the windshield or the hood or the whatever. Now you've got knee rotation. 
I'm not a huge fan of the knee rotation piece versus thigh rotation. And this little, it feels like that little tab sort of rubs, but anyway, it's not rubbing. And you have all kinds of stuff you can do with the ankle. It's ridiculously poseable and it helps in the transformation. So, so yeah, that, that's great with the ankle. And come on, you're stable. And it actually has great articulation. All right, let's get deep into these comparisons. What does he look like next to Magic Square's Prime? I think this is going to be the deciding factor for most people because Magic Square Optimus Prime is, is probably the best Optimus Prime out there. One of the best uh, Optimus Primes out there. And I can live with that scale, especially when you're shrinking everything down like this. Uh, I, I'm okay with that. Now, if we get a little bit of adjustment in here and we throw in the Hot Soldier, if you get the Hot Soldiers one into all this, it actually looks better size-wise and scale-wise and works very well. So I think it works with either one and it's really up to you. Here is next McFan's Toys Hound, which I love the McFan's Toys Hound. I feel like McFan's Toys Hound is a bit on the big side, but next to these side by side, actually, they look about the same height. McFan's Toys Hound's got one eighth of an inch on them or something, so it's not that big of a deal. So if you like Toy World's Whiskey Jack or McFan's Toys Sideswipe, well, the Sideswipe looks really good next to him. That works perfect. That, I mean, you could stretch it if you want to. Let's get even more down on this. That gives you just a little bit better angle so you can see what I'm seeing just a little bit better. And Sideswipe works and Whiskey Jack is just a bit of a stretch but not completely outside the realm of reality. And here he is next to his M01 version, the Prowl. And I think it looks, I think they look right about the same size. You can, yeah, of course, they're made from the same mold, more or less, but I'm gonna be doing him next. I'm gonna take him from bot to car. So just wait for that if you want, you know, to see how it goes from bot to car. And they're very simple transformations. They're very fun easy, enjoyable, and I think that's what Legends is all about. Like, Legends is all about quick and easy to flip around, flip back and forth, have a little fun, get a little nostalgia, and have super G1 characters. This has been the Iron Trans M03 Smog, the mini-series. Their take on Smokescreen. It's a very G1 representative Smokescreen, and I think he looks great. I really do like this figure. I like the whole line and the truth is I got two of them. I'll probably get the third while they're still in stock. I got mine at Shozy. You can get yours at Shozy also. I'm going to put link down below. Great solid figure, solid release, fun to flip back and forth. Let me know what you think in the comments while YouTube still allows it. Like and subscribe and turn here and hang around.